branches He who abides in me Will forever be fruitful indeed to the fire except that he comes through me Greetings, family. Listen, I'm excited about this opportunity. Uh, we had a dear friend of ours to stop by uh, the end of last year. Uh, the end of last year, he said the Spirit just told him to drop by, check on us. And uh, he popped in, peeped his head in as he was preparing to leave and go minister at his own church. And uh, just, just, just to show up uh, to let us know that, hey, I'm here. I'm a kingdom brother and I just want to help you all and just to encourage you all. It was such a blessing, but uh, God is doing some tremendous things in his life. Uh, for those that watch the news anywhere in the Southeast, you saw uh, a few months ago where his church uh, caught a fire and burned. I mean, immediately after they left out of the church, been serving the community, been working, been laboring, feeding those that are hungry, just doing so many outreach things. And uh, God has blessed him, blessed his family, and blessed the ministry there. And uh, it's just, a, just an awesome opportunity, but they didn't allow that to stop them. All it did was cause them to be more creative, and it caused their faith to rise to a certain level. And guess what? They're doing even greater works now. And I'm honored, I am honored to call him friend. Uh, the only thing we really disagree on uh, is the Alabama Auburn thing uh, but I'm still praying for him that God open his eyes <laughs> but until then uh, we just go love him where he is but listen you are in for a treat today you're going to be blessed by the word that God has put in his mouth none other than Pastor Lawrence Jackson would you help me welcome him as he come to bless us on today come on Pastor Jackson it's in your hands man Go 
That is who you are. 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 Has he made a way for you to find it? Has he made a way for you to find it? Has he made a way for you to find it? Has he made a way for you to find it? That is who you are. That is who you are.
how good the Lord is. Yes, it is. How good the Lord is. Yes, it is. Let me give you this word real quick, real quick. Thank you, thank you, brother musician. He's a great, he's a great orchestrator of the keys. <laughs> Amen. Hey man, you heard that before, hey, y'all know. I wanna, there was a lady at somebody behind me, I was sitting in my seat. There she is right there, in the, yeah, right there working on the computer. Come up, come up baby, real quick. I, I try not to do this. Come on, man, because I know we in social distance. Come on, baby. I was sitting in my seat, God spoke to me, you stand right there. God spoke to me about you. Turn this way, sugar. What, what is your name? Misha? How old are you? Thirty-six. You ever own the house? You ever own the house? How many? Do you have you do you have you ever owned a home? Yes. You have? You own one now? Yes. Good. Because I'm I, there's a you know, I sat in my seat and God said he's gonna do something because of your faithfulness. And I don't know. I was, they were saying a miracle work, and he said, that's a, he gonna, there's a miracle in your life relative to your home. I'm telling you, lift your hand where you are. Because I, I believe that God will miraculously put a dead freedom over you. Over your life. You believe God can do it? Yes. I believe God will erase the, the, the pain of that home. It, there's, some, there's some frustration there, you know. Uh, there's some frustration in that home. Now, I don't know if you're going to stay in that home, you're going to bless you with another one. But he's going to change your living condition. You follow what I'm saying? You think God in the name of Jesus. And it is so. Oh, 
more like come to 15 yards. I'm talking about Alabama, now Auburn ain't played in so long, they don't know. <laughs> they don't know what that is, but I'm talking about Alabama. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I miss what, I miss what uh, my friend Ren, I told Ren, I said, listen, dog, y'all so confused, you don't even know what your name is. All them tigers, war, eagle. <laughs> Luke chapter 5, 1 verse, verse 5. Indulge me for a few moments, and I'm at like, Luke chapter 5, 1 verse, verse 5. And Simon answered and said unto him, Master, we have toiled all the night and have taken nothing. Nevertheless, at thy word will I let down the net. Amen. Amen. So I want to talk about for a few moments what to do when you come up empty handed. What to do when you come up empty handed. Brothers and sisters, in this new wave of church that I've witnessed, while I enjoy many things about the contemporary church, one thing I'm very concerned about is All right. our quest to satisfy and celebrate those who always win. Uh-huh. Huh. Okay. That the church has a strange philosophy yes, sir. that uh, those who sit in our churches when they are apparently victorious, uh -huh. we love to recognize them and we love to celebrate them in front of everybody. Uh -huh. Yes, sir. And so uh, we we tend to miss a whole crowd in our church. All right. And that is the crowd who God has not yet answered their prayers. Mm -hmm. right. and, and do you know what it's like to sit in church and to watch others get celebrated? Jesus and you yourself are yet struggling with the same problem. While their prayers got answered, your prayers have not yet been answered. Wow. Wow. And you sit in church week after week, and you, you're saying, God, I've caught nothing. I'm coming up empty handed, but I'm always celebrating others. But some kind of way in your psyche, in your, in your, in your psychological development or your way of thinking, you say, God, something got to be wrong because I go to church and nobody even recognizes me because my prayers ain't been answered. Wow. 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 Well, help me today. You, 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 in, you, you, you in the same place and you try to shout your way through and you really want to celebrate others and you really want to bless others, but you're saying, God, when are you going to bless me? Yes. I know y'all never been there, but I, I've been there when I when I, I started a church and I planted a church and, and, and for eight years I was saying, God, we need a building and I prayed and I prayed and I and I thought I found a building and I was looking bad in front of my members because the building didn't come through and every time something failed, I said, God, it, it looks a bad reflection on me and I prayed and I said, these folks started a church two months ago. How in the world they got a building? I, I ain't got no building. This, this man don't even love his people. This, this lady don't even care about these Folk. And yet they seem to be coming up. But here I am. I'm always coming up empty handed. You, you've been there when you look at some of your wicked families, you look at some of your aggravating aunties and some of your ugly uncles and they smoking dope and they dropping it and they partying and yet they got they got them a new house, they got them a new car, they ain't paying no time, you paying time every Sunday, you sowing seeds and look like you keep coming up. And who am I talking to in this room? You, you know what it's like when, when you see people and you know they've done people wrong and you look like you're the one that's trying the hardest, trying to please God. And nothing seems to happen. My God. My God. Don't you start nothing here. And so, oh, Jesus. And so our children Jesus. suffer. Yes, Lord. Because they say, Mama, they say, Daddy, uh -huh. you always talking about God going to make a way. Uh -huh. uh -huh. When he going to make a way for us? And they end up mad 
man is God and they grow up outside of church because they said I, I watched God he made my whole family suffer when we needed him he didn't come through because they didn't understand that sometimes you come up against this and there are times God don't always deliver who you want him to there are times God don't always bring you out of something when you want him to Oh God, y'all, y'all seen it? Some of you single ladies, you you've been a Christian and you've been praying for a husband, and here this girl lives. No love, nobody got three husbands. She's talking about I got me another man. You thought I'm trying to get my first man. He and you that had four husbands, and I can't get one. Peter and his boys were fishing, and and they were not amateurs. All right, all right. They all knew right. how to fish. Right. Yes. Let me submit to you: it's one thing to fail at doing what you don't know how to do. Mm. It's another thing to fail at something you know how to do it. Uh-huh. Lord help me. And every now and then, God will let you fail at what you do best, yeah. so you can be reminded that you still need Him. Yeah. Because if you didn't fail, sometimes you wouldn't fall on your knees. Yeah. Failing made you fall. I wish I had a witness here. It was in failing you fell on your knees and said, God, I'm not everything I think I am. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, Lord. you fail at things yes. that you know how to do. Yes. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. And so they, they fished all night Woo. for the sake of time. Oh, and they caught nothing. Caught nothing. Yeah. Uh-huh. nothing. And Jesus shows up. Mm. And he has to tell after they've washed their nets. Yes, sir. He has to say to him Ooh, on the boat after he's taught them a while. Yes, sir. Peter, launch out into the deep. Uh-huh. Now, now, now it baffles me that you gotta tell a deep sea fisherman. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Oh, boy. I ain't got time. Y'all, y'all need to come to church. You, you, got to, you got to remind deep sea fishermen to launch out into the deep. Sometimes we got to remind people we got faith. You need to have a little more faith. Help me, somebody. Sometimes you got to remind people that have been in church all their life. You got to trust God. They were deep sea fishermen, but they were frustrated at the development of their, of their, of their actions. And so, therefore, because they were frustrated, they began to fish somewhere where they thought that catching fish would be easy. And so he says, Master, he says, let down your net for a drum. And Peter says, Master, listen, listen. I know you think you know fishing. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh-huh. But you really are competent. Yeah, well, come on. Yeah, yeah, come on. Yeah, come on. Yeah, straight yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah, fishing. Yeah, straight yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah. Oh, boy. Come on Preach here. Preach it. Yeah. Yes, sir. I, I, I'm, a, I'm a fisherman. Uh-huh. And, and because I'm a fisherman, Master, let me tell you something. We've toured all night. Yes, uh-huh. sir. Yes, sir. It's a strong Greek word. We, we fought all night. We've, uh-huh. fought, we've worked all night. Yes, sir. Uh-huh. Yes, sir. Uh-huh. And we've caught. Nothing. No, not that. But nevertheless, nevertheless, because fishermen in this day they fished at night. Yes, sir. So yes, sir. He, he says we've toiled all night. All right, all right, and caught nothing. Nothing. But nevertheless, nothing. at your word, we're gonna let down the net. Come on now. Now, now the first thing I show him about this text, and let me get these three points. Now, the first thing you need to do, listen. I don't want you to now. Don't get frustrated when you come up here to hand it. The first thing you got to do is surround yourself with the word. Yes. Let me say yes. Surround when you come up empty-handed. Surround yourself with the word. And watch this in verse three. And he entered into one of the ships, which was Simon's, and prayed that he would thrust out a little from the land, and sat down and taught the people out of the ship. Yes. Now when he had left speaking, he said unto Simon, "Launch out into the deep and let down your nets for a drop." Notice the text. Jesus was getting ready to preach from Peter's boat. Yes, sir. But guess who was on the boat? Guess who was on the boat after a bad night? Peter. Peter, Peter. Oh, hell, Jesus is about to take the same boat that Peter used and caught nothing and used it to catch something. 
but Peter was there for the teaching even after he had a bad night. Can I tell y'all something? When you have a frustrating time, a frustrating season, a frustrating night, a frustrating month, that ain't the time to stay away from the Lord. That ain't the time to stay away from church. That's the time to get closer to God. How many times we go through things and we say, well, I ain't going today. Now, I know we're in COVID. Things are different, but you still can watch from home. God made it convenient for you, and you still won't do it because people run from the Word when they ought to run to the Word. When you're going through some things in life, you don't run from the Word. You run to the Word. Preach it, Pastor Jack. It amazes me Preach it, sir. that people we have to counsel with, we got to counsel them on Mondays about a problem we preach about on Sundays. That was on that. I said, we got to counsel people on Mondays about a problem we preach about on Sundays. If they only would have heard the word of God, they would have gotten an answer. Yes. Matthew 4 and 4. But he answered and said, it is written, man shall not live by bread alone, but every word that proceeded, E-T-H, because they went out of the mouth of God. Yes. Ephesians 6, 17. Take the heaven of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. Matthew 24 and 35, heaven and earth shall pass away, but my word shall not pass yes. away. Yes. Hang around Woo. the word of God. Word. Because when you love the word of God, in the beginning was the word. Listen, when you love the word of God, in the word of God is your answer. Yes, sir. A whole lot of people today, when they come to heaven, they rather go to a prophet. They want somebody, they want somebody to prophesy, they want somebody to lie to them. They'll send five hundred dollars to a man on TV, but won't pay fifty dollars to their local church. Let me say it again. They'll send five hundred dollars to somebody on TV, but won't send fifty dollars in a local church because they're trying to find self grandeur. They, they're trying to find a quick fix and sell the word of God because in the word of God there may be a process. Yes, There's always a reason you come up empty handed. Oh, help me, somebody. Surround yourself. With the word. Let me say a second thing to you. I hate to hurry. Let me say a second thing to you. You got to separate yourself from your past. When you come up empty handed, surround yourself with the word. But then separate yourself from your past. Look at verse 4. It's in your Bible if you didn't tear it out. Look at verse 4. Now, when he had left speaking, he said unto Simon, Lunch out unto the deep. And let down your net for a drop. Yeah. And Simon answered him, said, Master, we've toiled all night and we have taken nothing. nothing. When you come up empty handed, saints of God, don't allow that to stop you from ever trying again. Don't allow your bad experience to dictate your expectation. Yes, sir. Let me say it again. I said, don't allow your bad experience to dictate your expectation. You've got a right to expect something great from God. Well, I wish I was an old school church. You can't touch nobody. Look at yourself and remind yourself, I got a right to expect something from God. No, I ain't been perfect. Yes, I've made mistakes. Yes, I've done some stuff wrong. But I still got a right to expect greatness from my God. Yes, sir. Church folk, church folk will have you thinking. I'm almost done. Church folk will have you thinking that blessings are only for a select group of folks. Come on here. Come on here. Say that. Yeah, you got to be in the pastor's corner to get blessed. You understand? You you got to be a Christian crip. You know. You got to be this old school. You you, you got to be the feet of folk. You know. You you, you, you got to you got to you got to earn it. Just think that they are the distributing house and if you don't earn the blessing you ain't gonna get it but look, every one of you in this room everyone with your wicked low down self God still will bless your life every one of you in this room every one of you who stand to give I don't care what your past look like all of us got a past all of us done some stuff that God ain't pleased with but God will still bless your life Not a person. Oh, Lord. Events don't last, but people do. Church oh, folk are strange folk. They always remind you of your past. Yeah. They got what I call spiritual amnesia. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. They remember what you did, but they forgot what they did. Come on here. Yeah. Come on here. 
They, they remember what your children did, but they forget what their children did. Yeah. They talk about your child had a baby out of wedlock, but they child had sex with everybody. They just use protection. The sin, the sin is the y'all ain't saying nothing to me. The sin is the root. The baby was the fruit, and God is trying to kill the root, not the fruit. In my sermon. Why y'all running call these precious babies bastards because they ain't got no father? A whole lot of folk got a father in the house and still a bastard because he don't do nothing. A man's presence don't mean participation. Y'all crazy to sell while y'all ladies while I'm coming on New Year's. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna go in my house to a man walking up. Baby, you done been blessed all these days. Ain't no man been there. You better go in your house. Man, you better, you better watch out. Get out of here. Get out of here. You preach it, Pastor. My, my, my. Separate yourself from your past. Yes, yes, yes. Peter started dialoguing about his disappointment. Forces his vicious attitude, airing his anger, talking about his terrible experiences, speaking down about his setback. And Jesus says, let down your neck for a drop. Jesus said to Peter, I want action. I don't want answers. Why are you trying to explain to me? I'm telling you what the blessing is. Let the neck down. Do y'all hear yourself? God is trying to bless you. You talking about God? Ain't nobody helping me. My daddy was now. When I was growing up, I would, but it wasn't nobody help me. My church did this to me. I would, but the job, God is telling you, baby, let down the neck for a drop. I got fish waiting on you, and you complain about what people did to you. Separate yourself. Jackson. Some of y'all can't even enjoy your current blessings. Because you're so busy being critical of your past. Jesus Christ. Separate yourself from your past. Yes, we made mistakes. Yes, sir. Boy, let me tell you something. I'm done. Best blessing I got in my life was God delivered me from worrying about what people thought about my past. I don't care what you bring up. I don't care. I don't care what I did. I don't care what article you read. I don't care who grandmama told you. I don't care what they told you I did when I was 15. I don't care what they did when I was 21. Baby, I'm covered. I'm redeemed. Come on. I'm blessed by God. The blood of Jesus washes me. White ass no. But this one thing I do, forgetting those things which are behind me, uh -huh. reaching forth unto those things which are before me, uh -huh. I press toward them. Uh -huh. yes. Yes. Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he's a new creature. Yes. Yes. All things are passed away. Behold, all things, watch this, all things become new. Become My Lord. Now, what y'all listen? He said, he said, listen, behold, behold. if any man be in Christ, he's a new uh -huh. creature. Uh -huh. Right? New instantly. Yes, sir. Yes, yes sir. Old things pass away. Yes. Old things go away slowly. Oh, All right. New things become new instantly. Uh -huh. So, in essence, I'm new and old at the same time. Well, well, y'all ain't like ain't preaching. <laughs> I, I said I'm new and old at the same time. That's why I don't want people to take my being saved for granted because I'm still new, but I got a little old in me. You don't want to run up on me. You don't want to cuss me. You don't want to push me. You don't want to try me because I am new, but but my old stuff is still passing. Don't catch it while it's passing. You may get your feelings hurt. Every day. Uh oh, come on here. Yeah. <laughs> I say I don't cuss every day. But don't push me. Come on, yeah. It may be your day. <laughs> They do not want me to answer this song. Not today. Not today. Not today. <laughs> That's because you're a little old, you new and old. <laughs> you, you ever went to the store and somebody just made a mistake and bumped into you, but it's the wrong day? Not today. Racial divide in our country be like, not today, white man. <laughs> 
Come on here. He, he lives with grace. He lives with grace. Not today. Not today. Not today. Separate yourself. Separate yourself. Separate yourself. Let me close my tears. When you come up into heaven, don't sell yourself short. By selling. Now, I, I want you to read this when you get home. You got to read it when you get home. Read it when you get home. All right, all right. When you read the word next throughout the text, it was always plural. Mm -hmm. He got Peter. He called him. They watched their nets, N-E-T-S. Yes. Yes. That's right. That's right. So he told Peter, let down your nets, N-E-T-S. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. Peter uh -huh. didn't let down his nets. All right. All right. All right. Yes. Well. He let down his nets. Yes, yes, yes. Uh -huh. yes, yes. And the reason why Peter let down a net is because in essence what he was saying to God is, I'm not finna unravel all these nets. For nothing. For nothing. When I'm telling you, ain't nothing out there. Come on here. Wow. Come on here. Come on here. Wow. 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 That's the so, so Peter, Peter, his past experience had affected him so much. He wasn't willing to go all in no more. Oh, because he had been hurt. Come on, somebody. Oh, his, his pride was hurt because he didn't catch nothing. But he did to appease Jesus. He said, well, since you aren't Jesus, I'm going to let down one net. Uh -huh. one because I got something to prove to you. Now, let me tell you how. Let me, let me validate my posture. The reason I know it is because when you let the net down, the net broke. The net broke. If you would have let down the net, you would have caught all the fish. But the reason why he couldn't get all the fish is because so he had to call other people and other people had to benefit from his drought because he didn't have enough faith to catch it himself. I'm, like, I'm looking for y'all battles who don't believe. I'm standing right by you. So when God bless you, I'm going to get all the leftovers. Because your little faith can't handle what God is getting ready to do in your life. If the fish were there uh -huh. in the sea uh -huh. the whole time, uh -huh. uh -oh. if they were there in the water the whole time, mm -hmm. where were they when Peter was fishing? Oh. Watch out now. Remember now, I told you, he said, Peter, let down get on the right side. Uh -huh. right side. So if he ever been reading that, then Peter may have let down on the left side. Come on here. Right. He was on the wrong side. But, but fish ain't that uh -huh. smart. If it's that many fish out there, one of them would have went over there. Well, come yeah, on here. Come on here. I said to God, what was the fish? Uh-huh. God said to me, I'll tell you what happened. Since you asked me, I spoke to the fish. Oh, oh y'all didn't say nothing to me. Uh, I told the fish to be still. Yeah. Uh-huh. Y'all didn't say nothing to me. Uh, 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 and, and because I control the fish. Uh-huh. Come on. I'm waiting on Peter's face. Come on, somebody. Yeah. His, his faith is really in himself. I need his faith to be in me. So I spoke to the fish and told the fish, don't go nowhere until I tell you to swim. And the fish said that. I, I, I wish I had a witness here. I don't know who I'm preaching to, but whole lot of y'all, God has to speak to your blessing. And told your blessing, be still until they get some teaching in them. Be still until they grow a little bit. Be still still until they mature a little bit. Then I release the fish. When we come up empty handed. Yes. There are times when we seek God and don't get an answer. Uh -huh. yes. There are times when we uh, worry and God does not answer on time. Uh -huh. yes. But we need to know that God not only controls the war, uh -huh. God controls to get out of here but I want to tell somebody that whatever you do do don't give up now the Lord will come through and he'll do it on time do I have a witness 
that can testify that pastor I feel that well I I feel that when I came up empty handed it but the Lord came through for me can I get a witness here Lord help me to keep on facing it help me to keep on fishing it help me to keep on trusting it help me to keep on believing it he will show up for you won't he do it I said won't he do it I said won't he do it I said won't he do it is there anybody here I got to get out of here kingdom builders that trust my God yes Lord help me Peter said oh sinful man that I am I should have trusted you the first time because I know that you're in control Peter was really saying Lord I'm sorry I should have believed you the first time can I get a witness here Lord it ain't about me this is about you Lord help me to trust you more do I have any witnesses there help me to believe you more if you don't believe God, shout yes! I got to get out of here. Shout yes! 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 Help me! Help me! Help me! Help me! Help me! Help me to believe in you! I know you're able. Is it anybody here that know God is able? Shout yes! 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 I said, won't he do it? 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 I know he's all right. I know he's all right. I told you, I told you, you were in for a treat. Listen, thank you, Pastor Jackson, for that word. My goodness, thank you so much for that word. That was just what we needed. I know you've been blessed, and I'm honored to call you friend. And I thank you for being a friend of Kingdom Builders. Listen, if you were blessed by that word, I need you to share this video. Let somebody know uh, that the kingdom experience was just that, a kingdom experience experience we're getting ready to go together uh, but just before we do i just want to encourage you if you're not saved if you don't have a relationship with christ that's the first thing i want to offer you salvation uh, because there is no other name under the heaven by which men can be saved other than the name of jesus christ if that's you i just need you to text it right there text kbb to 54244 you can write it there in the comments uh, if you're looking for prayer, you want us to pray, just text that right there. I pray. Come on, text it. I pray. Text it there and somebody will be in contact with you. Or you can text 205-862-8970 or call that number, 205-862-8970. We want to pray with you. We want to connect with you. 
and walk with you along this kingdom journey. If you want to give, the information is on the screen. The ways to give are there. I'm blessed. And the reason we give is because God has given so much back to us. We believe in honoring God at Kingdom Builders. That, that, that's our ultimate goal. No matter what we say, what we do, we want to honor God. And I know that's your testimony. I know that's your declaration. You want to honor God as well. So if you will, get your seed in your hand. Get, get your seed in your hand. We're not going to labor the point. We're not going to talk long about it because I believe I'm talking to kingdom minded people that understand the law of reciprocity, but also understand the importance of giving reverence to Christ, allowing resources to come to the local church, but more importantly, the rewards come to my house. Did you get that? When I give, it gives reverence to Christ, resources to the church, but rewards come to my house. So go ahead and get your seed in your hand. Let's prepare to give. Now, once you've gotten that together, the ways to do it are on the screen. We want to do it together. I believe there's a corporate blessing when we give corporately. Come on, repeat after me. I'm a tither. I gladly take the tithe out of my house and bring them into the storehouse. Come on, say this with me. Today, I confess the windows of heaven blessings over my life. I'm a cheerful giver. Come on, say it like you mean it. I'm a cheerful giver. I give to the work of God and to the man of God. And because I do so, my God shall supply all of my needs. Come on, say this with me and mean it. Say this week. No, 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 no. You said it because I asked you to. I need you to say it and mean it. Say this week. I expect unexplainable blessings. Favor is on my life. Well, where is it coming from? Say favor from the north. Favor from the south. Favor from the east. And favor from the west. God, give me favor with somebody that can bless me. It is so in Jesus' name. Amen. Listen, go ahead and give. Go ahead and give. I go ahead and give. I give you a moment to do that. Go ahead and give. Thank you so much for those that are giving. Yes, thank you for those that are giving. We're getting ready to go together. Yes. Hallelujah. Listen, friends, thank you again for watching, tuning in to the Kingdom Experience. Uh, now do yourself a favor, make sure you share this video. Let somebody know you were in the house when Pastor Lars Jackson visited KBB. And I'm super excited. Don't forget to tune in in the morning for Morning Manor at 6 o'clock a.m. It's a 10-minute prayer and devotion where we get our day and week started. And I'm looking forward to building with you. Father, as we leave this place, but never your presence, hide us behind your cross and cover us in your blood. We give you glory, honor, and praise. It's in your son, Jesus, the Christ's name we pray. Amen. Listen, I love you. And until next time, let's keep building the kingdom one person at a time. Let's do it.